What's up, everybody? Puck Mike here, back with another video. I want to talk about some things to watch out for going into 2024 and the current state of hockey cards. It's going to be a big year. We've already seen the first taste of Bedard in an NHL uniform, but in 2024, we will see the Holy Grail, the one and only, the same card where that of Wayne Gretzky sold for 3.75 million. That's right, I'm talking about Connor Bedard's Young Guns rookie card. Too early to tell if any of his cards are ever going to reach the millions in a single sale, but one of the things we'll talk about on this list is how Bedard will affect the card market in 2024. Before we get into it, if you want to see me and open and talk about more hockey cards and follow me on this journey of hockey card collecting, go ahead, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on box breaks and depth card analysis, rookie spotlights, and so much more. You can also check out my other channel at Cards You Sports Cards where I share my experience selling mostly low-end sports cards on eBay. All right, so first thing on this list is the Bedard effect. Now, this is definitely not new. Even the 2021-22 CHL boxes started to see an uptick in price when the hype started to increase. I swear my first box of this was like maybe $70. US. Now it's up to $140. And I think I pulled a base card of Bedard out of that first set. Maybe sold it for like 30 bucks. Kind of wish I wouldn't have done that at this point. It probably would sell for a lot more right now. I don't know if every single product is going to be higher just because of Bedard. I mean, Series 2 obviously is because that's where his Young Guns is going to be. But I don't think there's going to be a blanket increase on every single product where he has a card. But the hype could affect some sets where there's a limited number of Bedards in the set, like a 101 or 125, something like that. Then I could see some sets having a higher price tag. Of course, how he progresses as a player will have an effect too. He's already off to a great start, so I don't think he's going to be a bust at all. Overall, definitely something to keep an eye on if you have sticker shock when you go to buy a product. Do some research on the checklist first. See what Bedard cards are in the set. The only other thing I'll mention with this is how it might affect other players' card sales, like other young guns who are getting released at the same time. Series 1 probably has enough distance from series two where those players won't be affected but if there's other highly rated young guns in series two their cards probably won't go for as much as bedards but it'll be interesting to see if since bedards is higher is everyone else is higher too or will demand for others be lower since everyone wants bedard driving the price for those other players down we'll find out soon enough on that one. Second thing here is there will be more influencers on youtube there's already a ton not just hockey card channels but sports card channels on youtube but even just in the hockey card niche it seems like every day i'm recommended another video by a break channel i've never heard of and there's nothing wrong with that if you want to start a channel, go right ahead. I definitely think this number will keep going up and up in 2024, and I don't think that all the new channels that are started are going to last, though. A YouTube channel is a grind, folks. I'm up to 552 subscribers in almost two years with over 100 videos on my channel. It's a lot of work. We'll see some new players in 2024, but not everyone from that crop will last, nor will everyone from the current crop last either. Remember, depending on what you're doing in the video, like if it's a box break, the video costs money, and with box prices going up for some products, we might not see as many players lasting through the year. Next thing on the list, card sales will be down but not for the entire year now i don't want to get too much into card sales and ebay stuff i have my sports card channel for those types of topics but i think card sales will keep decreasing a bit there's a bunch of factors that contributes to this but similar to having more influences on youtube there are way too many card sellers on ebay right now and not enough buyers especially when you're talking about products like basic inserts or even more rare inserts for less hyped players there's just more supply on ebay than there are ready and willing paying buyers right now i don't want to get too much into that like i said i have the other channel but something to be aware of i think card sales will keep going down but i do think they'll pick up later in the year of course with hockey cards specifically the summer is usually slow so i'm predicting and hoping next fall and winter will be a good year for sellers of course still depending on how many new players come into the field most of the new card sellers on ebay won't last in my opinion sometimes it's even less rewarding and more work than running a youtube channel i think some new sellers will get discouraged with the slow periods and aren't there for the long haul but we'll see what happens hopefully we'll be looking at some good sales numbers next fall and winter number four prices will keep increasing and card count might keep decreasing what i mean by this is i think upper deck will continue to decrease Increase the amount of cards you get in a box and increase the prices for those boxes. I'm not even going to get into inflation and how this affects prices and all that. The bottom line is that Upper Deck has exclusive rights to produce hockey cards right now and just signed for like another five years a couple years ago. Say what you want, when you're the only player in the game, you have leverage and you can charge more for your product, often more than it's worth, and usually get away with it. I don't see this changing anytime soon, at least until another player is allowed in the game. I would love another option when it comes to the cards. Yes, Upper Deck has acquired some other brands over the years like OPG and continued those, but it's still Upper Deck run by the same company Company now. Yes, there's Leaf trading cards. I think Tops or Fanatics now make some stickers. It's just not the same. We all know that. I just wish we had other players in the game and other options. And lastly, the sport will continue to grow. Hockey is never going to be football in America, folks. It just isn't. I don't even watch football. I don't watch any sport except hockey. But it's never going to be as big as football in America. But I believe the sport will keep growing and ultimately, I do think that'll help hockey cards, whether you're on YouTube, selling on eBay, just collecting for fun. I do question the ESPN broadcast deal by the NHL a little bit. Don't get me wrong. I know it's been great for revenue 
revenue, advertisers, and thus owners, and eventually players when the cap starts to go up over the next few years. But ESPN's coverage of hockey is embarrassing. Thankfully, we do have folks like Pat McAfee, who does his Hockey is Awesome segment. He's had P.K. Subban on the show, Bedard, even the man himself, Gary Bettman, on the show. I think they've wised up. You know, P.K.'s got his own show, too, P.K.'s Places. ESPN just doesn't seem to give it that much airtime on game days. But it's getting better. The sport is growing. Like I said, it's never going to be football in America, and it's never going to be as popular in America as it is in Canada. But it's growing, and ultimately, that will be good for the hobby. That's it, folks. I wanted to talk about five things to watch out for in the hockey card market in 2024. Of course, if you want to see me open and talk about more hockey cards and follow me on this journey of hockey card collecting, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on box breaks, in-depth card analysis, rookie spotlights, and so much more. You can also check out my other channel at Cards You Sports Cards, where I share my experience selling mostly low-end sports cards on eBay. Thank y'all so much for watching, and yeah, I'll check you later.